I am Pythagoras of same house, the first man to prove that the square of the hypotenuse of a right angled triangle is equal to the sum of the squares of the triangle's legs. Myself and my cult following, the Pythagoreans, are a secret society that believes that everything is numbers. A number is a quantity that can be expressed as a ratio of two integers. Yes, Pythagoras. I hope you remember me. I am Hipparchus, your favorite student. Yes, I do. Well, the length of the hypotenuse of an isosceles triangle with legs of length 1 is equal to the square root of 2. I just discovered that the square root of 2 cannot be described as a rational number. It is what I refer to as irrational. But that would go against the very foundation of my school. Surely such a number could not exist. Well, let us suppose that the root of 2 is rational and equal to m divided by n. Assume the fraction m over n is reduced into its lowest form. Yes, let us suppose that the root of 2 is rational. Then if we square both sides of the equation, we find that m squared over n squared is equal to 2. Please go on. Now multiply both sides through by n squared, and we find m squared equals 2 times n squared. Since m squared is equal to 2 times some integer, m squared is even. Yes, if m squared is the double of a whole number, that is equivalent to saying it is even. Now recall that the square of an even number is even, and the square of an odd number is odd. So if m squared is even, then m itself must be even. Now since m is even, I will rewrite m as the double of some integer. Of course, the only way for m squared to be even is if m itself is even. Let's say m is equal to 2 times k. Subbing this back in, we find 2k squared is equal to 2n squared. I wonder where you are going with this? After expanding and dividing out the 2, we find that 2k squared is equal to n squared. But by the earlier argument, now n must be even. So both m and n are even. Yes, since n squared is the double of a whole number, n squared is even. And since n squared is even, n must also be even. Do you see a problem with this now? By the four horsemen of the apocalypse, if m and n are both even, then the fraction m over n is not in lowest terms. We could divide the numerator and denominator both by 2 and reduce the fraction to a simpler form. So you are saying that if the root of 2 is rational, then the numerator and denominator would both have to be even, and we could not ever describe it in lowest terms. That would mean it was, what do you call irrational? Yes, so do you see that if we let the root of 2 be a rational number in its lowest form, then it creates a contradiction with itself, so it must be the case that it was never rational to begin with. Like I said, it is an irrational number. No, you are a silly man. Your thoughts are absurd. I am a peace-loving vegetarian who doesn't even believe in wearing animal pelts. But now to my eternal shame, I must murder you in hopes that no one will ever discover this proof that irrational numbers exist. Remind me to throw you overboard the next time we are sailing on my ship, you insolent piece of garbage.